People from across the country made their way to Chiefs Kingdom today. From highways to the airport, fans are coming to Kansas City to witness history. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling joins us live from KCI. Nick, you talked to a lot of fans coming in for the game. How are they feeling? Well, Dia, they are pumped and excited to see Arrowhead host the AFC Championship game for the first time ever, which is why you have people coming from all corners of the nation coming here, hopefully for a Chiefs victory on Sunday. Fans decked out in Chiefs red arrive in Kansas City. It's a homecoming for many of these fans, like James Farrell, who lives in North Carolina now. This week, the missus was traveling, so I brought the boys out with me. Uh, thank you, mister. Appreciate that. Uh, he's pretty excited too. So, but uh, you know, obviously, you know, when you're half the country away, it, it's hard to find uh, people as passionate. But uh, it's great getting on the flights and seeing everybody see a red travels well, and then coming back home. His son Kaven learned quickly on how to do the chop. And Chiefs fans who never lived here, like Rob Passell from New York. He became a Chiefs fan because his dad wouldn't let him go to the Chiefs Jets playoff game in 1969. So you can imagine being a six year old looking forward to going to a game. I wasn't very happy. So I cheered for the Chiefs to win. And I've been a Chief fan since 1969. And yes, even Patriots fans are coming in too. Like on our way to a sixth ring. Has to happen. I'm so excited. Heather Kaufman has front row seats on the 45 yard line. She brought this yeah. sign. It doesn't think the loud Arrowhead Stadium will throw off the Patriots. I think it'll drive Brady harder. And then there's lifelong fan John Altman, who now lives in Virginia. It's probably been 30 years since I've been to a Chiefs game. His son has never experienced Arrowhead. I heard that they're one of the loudest stadiums, and it's still kind of exciting because I don't know how loud it can actually be. While they hope for a Chiefs victory, this game is more than just a win or a loss. It's about the experience. This is worth it. This literally is a chance of a lifetime to share something with him. He starts college this next year. I've already got my other two that are out of the nest. And so to be there with him is just awesome. Go Chiefs! Go Chiefs! Some fans even telling me they would rather go to this game than the Super Bowl just because of the experience that Arrowhead brings with it. But of course, all Chiefs fans want the team to go to the Super Bowl and win it in Atlanta. Reporting at KCI, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Thanks, Nick. If you're going to the game, here's what you can and cannot bring inside Arrowhead. Regular purses are not allowed. You've got to have a clear bag or a small clutch. Blankets, towels, hats and gloves are all allowed, but you got to drape blankets over your shoulders to go through security. There will be some warming stations set up around the stadium, though you can bring your own hand warmers, just no portable or electric heaters.